So now let's discover what's new with generators in PHP 7 and above. Now with generators in PHP 7, you can now have return statements. So with return statements, you can see here that what I'm doing is I'm invoking the values generator function, creating a control object and storing it within the control variable. We're iterating through each yield, each stop sign, and we're basically echoing out the yielded value. So if I hit refresh, this is what we get 200, 300, like so, but we do not get 500. So if you're using the next and current methods, or if you're using a for loop like I'm doing here, then all you're going to get is the yielded values. However, in order for me to get the return value, we need to say, let's say echo, let's put in a line break right here, and then on there, we want to concatenate this value, this integer that's going to be returned, 500. And again, we need to control the execution of our generator function. And we want to run the get return method. So now when I run the get return method, it's going to return the value of 500, the value within the return statement. And again, this value could be an object, it could be even a callable object if you wanted it to be. So remember that anything can be returned. So it's gonna return, let's say 500 in this case, and then we're going to echo that out. So that'll be 500, and then you can concatenate that onto the string. So it'll just be one string like so, and it'll echo that out onto the page, so. If I hit save now and I hit refresh, you'll notice we get 500. But also please do note that we have gone through all of the stop signs, all of the yields first. That's very important. If you try to get the return statements value before you've gone through all of these stop signs, AKA I'm starting here and I'm asking it to get the return value. This is right at the end of the function. We've not run the for loop yet to go through the yield signs, the stop signs. Then let's see what happens. I'm gonna save that and hit refresh. You'll see fatal error. Cannot get return value of a generator function that hasn't returned and so forth and so on. Because what it needs to do is it needs to go through these stop signs first and then you can pull out the return. So it's very important where you invoke the get return method. Also in PHP 7, it allows you to yield from other generator functions. So previously we discovered that we can say yield from, and then we can let's say have an array. So I could say 100, 200, and then 300, save it and hit refresh. And you'll notice it yielded at each value within this traversable array object. But you can also now in PHP 7 yield from another generator function. You can actually link generator functions together. This makes generator functions even more powerful. So let's create another generator function. I'm just going to create a function, give it a name of gen2, and let's create a yield statement. Yield, and let's have the string, this is from gen2 and then we're gonna have another stop sign and another yield and let's just say this is from gen 200 so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say yield from and I'm going to yield from gen 2 and we want to invoke that function so you can see here that we are invoking another generator function and this generator function has two yields. So let's save it and hit refresh and you'll notice it says this is from gen two and this is from gen 200, which came from this generator. And again, you can place this yield wherever you want. You could place it above the return statement. Your return statement must be at the end of the execution context, but you could put it anywhere in between the start of the execution context and the return statement. But I put it right at the top here, so we've got these values right at the top, and then you also have 300 and 500, as you can see here. So this is also something new 
in PHP 7. And now, if you think about it, it's even more powerful. I can write several generator functions and I can allow them to link to one another. So we have a really nice hierarchy with our functional programming. It really is powerful and it's an amazing way to do functional programming. And hopefully, when you have certain tasks, eventually you're going to come across a job where a generator function is definitely the right way to go. So there it is. In PHP 7, you can now have return statements in generator functions, and also you can yield from another generator, effectively pulling in all of those stop signs from the other generator. And again, you could keep going with this. I could have gen 3 like this. This is gen 3, like so. And we could say yield from in the second gen 2, yield from gen 3. And again, what we're doing here is we're pulling in these stop signs into this generator. And then we're pulling these stop signs into our first generator, like so. So we have all of these yields here. So we have this really nice hierarchy that we have. So if I save that now, I hit refresh, you'll notice there are all of the yielded values from my generator functions.